Hey, what's up guys, Magic Mon here. Today, I'm not going to be showing you a trick. I'm going to be showing you the size Stebbin stack. So we're going to be looking into what this is. Um, this is probably my favorite deck stack. Um, it's super easy to learn, and uh, you'll be impressing your friends in no time. So let's just take a look at this. Okay, guys, so this is what the size Stebbin stack is. So basically what it is, is it is the okay so okay this is kind of difficult so basically what's happening is you're taking every every card that comes after it is going it's you're adding three to each card so six plus three is nine nine plus three is nine plus three is twelve which is a queen twelve plus three is a two well i mean because okay so once you get to thirteen that's a king. So after you get to 13, you have to restart. So you go queen, so 12, 13, and then 1, 2. So that's 3. And then 5, um, 8. You, you get the idea. So um, basically, it's also in chased order. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, this doesn't really help me remember. But just, it's, okay. So basically, the order is in clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Okay, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Clubs, hearts spades diamonds all the cards are black and red black and red because they're all clubs hearts spades and diamonds now i'm going to show you guys how to set this up right now okay guys now basically what's going to happen is all you want so it's easier if you have the deck in new deck order so from all the kings to the aces so each one of these packets is set up from ace through king so Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, queen, king. Through both, through all four of these stacks, okay? Or, yeah, you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> so basically what you're going to do, for the, so you're going to have to set it up, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, just like I have here. Basically what you're going to do, is you're, all you're going to do is take the ace and put it on top for the clubs, okay? Now for the hearts, you're going to go to the four, split it, and put all that on top, okay? So now it's split in half, basically. And now you're going to go to the spades. You're going to go to the seven. So split it at the seven, cut everything to the top just like that, set it down. Now you're going to take, you're going to go to the ten. So then you only have the face cards in your hand. And cut everything to the top just like that. Now the reason for this is because you see here we have clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, ace, plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, okay? Now this is how we're setting it up. So now basically what you're going to do, once you have it set up like this, all you're going to do is just go clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Now... I'm not going to do this entire thing in the performance, or like in this video, but basically all you're doing is just putting these in like this. Now, I'm just going to skip to when it's all set up. So you're just going to go, just remember, once you have it set up like that, all you're going to do is just, is just set all this up one at a time. And then you're just going to repeat it over and over, okay? So I'm just going to skip to when it's all set up, and then I'll resume. Okay, guys, now when you're done with this, you should have the deck with the jack of diamonds on bottom and the ace of clubs on top, like so. Now, um, I see that it's kind of dark in this camera, so I'm going to turn on the lights quick one. Okay, guys, I'm back. So the reason I turned off the lights was because for the, for the intro, it was making my face like really bright and you couldn't really see anything. So that's why I turned them off. But for the cards, I guess it doesn't really help. So... Um, basically what's going to happen is, once you have it set up like this, you should have, the, again, the Ace of Clubs on the bottom and the di Jack of Diamonds on top. And then just make sure it's it's all the same. Now basically what you're going to do is, I'm going to teach you a few tricks you can do with this. And there's like endless possibilities that you can do with this because there's this is such a great stack, okay? Now the reason for this is because you can cut this deck as many times as you want and it doesn't disturb the order because all it's doing is taking one pack and putting it to the bottom so it's not like 
Now, if you're shuffling it, it's not going to work. But since you're just cutting it, see see how the seven of spades is here? So it, four plus three is seven, hearts, spades, okay? So if I cut the deck, now the two of spades is here with the queen, which is, okay, so, and it's just, it's not going to disturb the order if you're just cutting it. That's the basic principle. So, um, I know this video is going to probably be a bit long, so, but just, just stay in. This is definitely worth your time, okay? Now, if you're not a magician, this is going to get really boring, but if you are a magician, you need to learn this because this will really help you in the real world, okay? So, basically what you're going to do is for um, a way to determine the top card, you can determine what the top card is at any point by just looking at the bottom card. Because, oh, <laughs> so see it's the Jack of Diamonds right here. So I know the top card is the Ace of Clubs, obviously, because that was how it started. But if I cut it now, it's the Six of Diamonds. But if I add three to six, that's nine. And it's Clubs, Hearts, Spades, Diamonds. So then it's going to be Clubs again. So it's going to be the Nine of Clubs is on top. So you can determine what the top card is by just looking at the bottom card. So ace, ace plus three is the four, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, again, so it's the four of clubs. See, it's really, it's really easy to do. Just make sure you practice this a lot, by the way. But there's lots of effects you can do with this. There's a mind reading effect that you can do with this. So basically what I have them do is I give the deck to the spectator and I tell them to just go behind their back and just cut it, the deck, as much as they want, just like this, behind their back. And then I tell them they can stop whenever they'd like. And then I tell them to take the top card and just put it in their back pocket and don't look at it. So neither of us know what it is and they cut to a random card. Now, all I do is when they hand the deck back to me, I just put the deck back in the box because I say I don't need it anymore. As I'm putting it in the box, I just peek the bottom card, which is the seven of clubs. So I know that the card in their pocket is the ten of hearts. Because seven plus three is ten, and it's clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. So it's going to be a heart. So it's the ten of hearts that's going to be in their pocket, which is the top card right now. So I know that the ten of hearts is in their pocket. And then I can basically just do a mind reading effect, basically, where it's like, I don't know, you can just milk it out however you want, but at, at the end you can just reveal that you know their card, and it's it's mind-blowing because there's no way, because neither of you knew what the card is, and all they did was just cut it as, and they did all of it behind their back, so it's even better. Now, um, basically another trick you can do with this is there's also ways to determine how far, like, let's say Spectre names a card. Okay, so you name a card, they just name a card, and you can literally tell them what number that card is in the deck. Let's say, um, let's like, let's say this is just, this isn't like actually right, but let's say they said the ace of clubs and you're like, you could tell them that it's the 30th card in the deck. I don't, that's probably not true, but, <laughs> uh, like it, this is a really good stack. So basically how you're going to do that is all you need to know is is the bottom four cards. You don't need to know them, but you're going to want to be able to see them. So, as you can just ask them to name any card, you can literally just hold it like this. Like, no one even knows, okay? Like, no one's going to care. Or you could, like, possibly just throw the deck down a bit sloppily so that these are like this. Maybe not that bad, because then people are, are going to be like, oh, you can just see the cards. But, anyways, so you just need to see these bottom cards. Now, this is going to involve a lot of math, and this is the reason I don't do this that much. Um, but basically, um, all you're going to, let's say they say the two of spades, the two of spades. Okay. Now, actually, let's not do that here. Let's cut the deck here. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we'll do the two of spades. So, um, I'll tell you why I cut it in a sec. So basically see the nine of spades here is, so the nine of spades, so that's the one. Okay, so since it was a two of spades, right? I think that was what I named. Anyways, <laughs> so the two of spades, and that's a sp and that's the one that's a spade in these four cards, because it's clubs, hearts, spades, di never mind. Um, 
Okay, this is annoying. Okay, so it's going to be clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs. Okay, that's how, there we go. So, anyways, since the, it's, the two of spades is a spade, you're going to look for the top spade in these top four cards. So since it's a nine, you're going to take nine, because that's the card here, and subtract two from it. So nine minus two, and that's going to be seven, okay? So it's going to be seven. Now you're going to multiply this by four, okay? Because there's four cards here. Um, trust me, if you do this process, it will work every time. Now, so nine minus two is seven. And then you're going to do seven times four, which is 28. Yeah. <laughs> So 28, um, and then since it is third from the from the bottom, so one, two, three, it's a third card, you're, and there's two on top, you're going to subtract two, I believe. It's either two or three. I believe it's two, okay? So we'll see in a sec when I do it. So, so it's going to be two, so you're going to do 28 minus two, okay? So that's going to be 26, right? So now I'm going to tell them that the two of spades is the 26th card down. Now let's see if that's accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 should be the two of spades. There we go. So yeah, you did subtract two. So, so the two of spades was the 26th card down. Now... That's now you're probably asking a question, um, and that question is going to be probably, let's say, okay, um, let's say, um, let's say we name the six of clubs, six of clubs, okay. Now you're gonna see that the nearest club is here, okay. So in the end, I'm gonna have to subtract zero because there's no cards on top, okay. So but it's a six of clubs, that's the one I named, and this is the two of clubs. Now two minus, you can't subtract six from two unless you're in algebra class, okay? <laughs> so, um, so basically what you're going to do is you're basically going to, um, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So you're going to have to add 13 to two. So that's going to be 15. Now, the reason it's 13 is because there's 13 cards in every suit. So in spades, there's 13 There's 13 spades in the deck, 13 hearts in the deck, 13 diamonds in the deck, 13 clubs in the deck. Now, now, the, now so you're going to add 13 to the, to the value of this card. So it's a 2. So it's, that's going to be 15. Now I'm going to do 15 minus 6 because they said the 6 of clubs. So 15 minus 6 would be 9. That took me a bit. Okay. <laughs> so so that's going to be 9. Okay. So now I'm going to do 9 times 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. And then 36 minus 0 because it's the top card. So there's no cards on top of it. So it's going to be the 36th card down now. Let's see if that's right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Thirty-six is okay. I, yeah, I must have just counted wrong. Yeah, okay, I just counted wrong. So it was indeed in the thirty-sixth position. So the six of clubs. Okay. Now, okay. So this is a very powerful trick, and you might. Why is this bent? Um. Okay. So you might. <laughs> um. So I think that should probably cover it. If you do those steps, it will work every time, okay? Now, again, remember that you have to subtract however many cards are here. So let's say they named a heart. Then you're going to subtract three because there's three cards on top of it, okay? So it's it's kind of complicated, which I don't use it that much because it is a bit complicated and it's hard to do all that math in your brain. But you can get away with it because you can just say, you can just tell them that, I don't know, just make up some random plot. Like, you know, I memorized this deck the other day. <laughs> I don't know. And be like, I'll prove it to you. So just name any card and they name a card. And you're like, I'm going to tell you how far down that card is in the deck. 
you know, like, but give me some time to think about it because, you know, it's, I mean, I have to pull it from my memory or whatever, uh, something dumb like that. That will give you like literally as much time as you want, as long as you have like a, a confused face, like you're thinking, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've literally done that before. <laughs> okay. So basically that is another effect. So you can tell how far a card is down in the deck. And there's lots of stuff you can do with this. Now, I'm going to be showing you two more tricks. That's it, okay? So I just bear with me. I know this is a getting to be a long video, but trust me, this is really worth it, okay? Because these tricks are really impressive. Now, like, again, with the... you How you can tell... So that's the five of hearts right there on the top. You can do so many mind-reading tricks with this just by putting the deck in the box and saying we don't need that anymore and peeking the bottom card. it There's so much stuff you can do with this. Now, again, I'm going to show you two more tricks. So, one is a lie detector card trick. So now, you might know one of those, but this one trumps those, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. So, this one is really good. So, you basically have the spectator take any card. Now, when they take it, let's say they take this one right here. So they're going to set that down, they're going to look at it. Now you don't want to square up right away. You want So this is exactly where they took the card out. You're going to cut everything to the top, from the bottom to the top. So you're basically just cutting it from that spot. Now while they're looking at the card, okay, um, I'm not going to show it just because, um, but basically what's going to happen is um, I'm going to tell them that this deck is a lie detector. And it, and it detects if you're lying or not. And I'm basically just going to say, I'm going to tell them that they can either lie or not lie. So, um, so it's their choice. They can either tell the truth or lie. Okay. So, so I'm going to ask them, um, is your card a red card or a black card? Let's say they say black card. So I'm going to do B L A C K. Okay. I'm going to set that down and I'm going to set this here. I'm going to say here, let me. Oops, sorry about that, okay, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to do this with no cameraman, so this is going to tell me if you're lying or not, okay, now let's say they say, so you say, since you said it's a black card, is it a club or a spade, so let's say they say it's a club, so you say it's one of the clubs, okay, so I'm going to do C-L-U-B-S, okay, so clubs, and I'm going to set that down there, and that's going to tell me if you're lying or not, right there, now one last question, um, this is the last question I'm going to ask them, um, is, what is the value of the card? So it could be anywhere from an ace to a king, so let's say they say a seven. Okay, I don't even know what that card is, I'm just making up crap as I go. Okay, let's say they say a seven. Now I'm going to do, I can either spell the word seven or count seven. So let's say they say count seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's going to tell me if you're lying or not. Now, for the first one, you said it's a black card, and you lied, okay? So I lied. It was a red card, apparently, okay? <laughs> now, if you do this right, it should work every time. Um, now, um, I actually did this wrong. Okay, um, okay, so, uh, this is annoying. Okay, so I actually, I'm going to take this back. So, Okay, um, uh, I accidentally counted an extra card on accident, so, um, again, this is, um, so this was a seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, now, um, okay, so, again, okay, now, okay, so, I'm sorry about this, guys, so, so it was a red card, okay, so I lied, and it was a heart, apparently. So it was a heart, so I lied again because I said it was a club. And uh, one sec, someone is at the door. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My neighbor just came over and asked if my brothers could play, but they're gone. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now the last question, I said it was a 7, and it was actually a 10. So it was the 10 of hearts. Now, if I did this right, the the deck knew I was lying because it is indeed the ten of hearts so if you do this right it should work every time now I'm gonna teach you this right now okay so um, gonna have to so 
I'm doing this, I'm setting this back up so that it's still in the same size si Stebbins order, size si Stebbins stack. Now basically what you're going to do is you need it to be in size si Stebbins stack obviously for all these tricks and you have them take out a card, so right here, so you take out a card and they take it out and you cut it exactly where they, where they um, took out the card. Now I don't know why I said that in the performance because that was a performance, so I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, so basically they take out a card and you cut it right where they took it out. So they take it right here, you're going to cut this to the top, okay? Now, you must do that or it will not work, okay? So now they're going to be looking at the card. For this tutorial, I guess we'll show it. So it's the nine of hearts now. Now let's. Now you're going to tell them, you can either lie or, or tell the truth. So let's say they, they're going to lie, okay? So it's the nine of hearts. So you ask them, is it a red card or a black card? Now, um, so for the, okay, so let's say they say black card, okay? So you're going to spell out B-L-A-C-K, okay? So you're just going to go B-L-A-C-K. Set it down, put the, put the next card on. Now, if they say red, you're just going to spell R-E-D. And then set the next card down, okay? Now... Um, for this part, it doesn't matter, but there will be some slights that will be needed for the next part. So let's say they say B-L-A-C, <laughs> say they say black, so B-L-A-C-K. And I'm going to set that down, and I'm just going to tell them, that's going to tell me if you're lying or not. I actually literally just performed this today. I, I forgot that I did that. <laughs> um, but now this part is going to be a little bit tricky. So they said black. So now you're going to ask them, you're going to say, now, you said, so you said it's a black card, so is it a club, so is it a spade, or one of the clubs? Now I'm wording it like that because if they say spade, then you can just spell S-P-A-D-E, set it down, put the next card. If they say club, you do, since you said one of the clubs, you have to add the S. So C-L-U-B-S. And then set it down. Now they're not going to be like, oh, you added an S. Okay, they're not going to do that. I've never had anyone do that. So don't worry about that. Now, so let's say they said a club. Or clubs. C-L-U-B-S. Okay? So now I'm going to set that down and say that's going to tell me if you're lying or not. And then finally you ask them what the value is. This could be anything. Let's say they say it's a king. Or let's say they say it's a two. Okay? Now you ask them, do you want me to spell two or just deal down two? Okay, so let's say they say spell two. So it doesn't matter which one. So let's say they say T-W-O, okay? Now what's going to happen is you can't deal the next card down. And I made this mistake in the, th in the performance because I dealt the next card down and I forgot that you can't do that. Now... Basically what's going to happen is, so, two, T-W-O. The card that you need is on the top. So it's a nine. And that card was the nine of hearts. So that means you need this card to be down there. Now what's going to happen is you're going to take these three cards, set them down, and then you're just going to be like, okay, so we have three piles here, and, and then you go, oh, wait, sorry. And then you're going to set the top card there, okay? not taking the next card. Now, one thing I like to do is, um, so I'm going to T-W-O, I'm going to come up, steal this away with my thumb as I put these down. So you don't want them to be separate because then they'll see, and then you just deal the next one down. I like to do that better because I have been caught with someone telling me, uh, no, that's, that doesn't work. Now, that won't usually happen to you but it might once in a while so I would just use that you can use whatever you want but it will work either way just make sure you do all these steps and it will work fine okay so that is that trick now I'll move on to one more. okay guys so now for the last trick um, again like I said this doesn't just have to be the last trick I mean you can come up with lots of tricks for this but this one is a really good one so it's kind of like the it's kind of a bit like the lie detector one I just showed you, but it's a bit different. So you can basically have the, you're going to ask the spectator 
to um, take out, this is a performance by the way, so I'm going to ask the spectator to take out any two cards that are next to each other. So you take out these two. So I'm going to set those down here, okay? Now, basically what's going to happen is I'm basically going to, so that's, I'm going to ask this deck a few questions to find out what those two cards are. Now, the deck has a question maximum of four questions, so I can only ask it four questions. Now, usually I get a laugh when I say this, okay? Um, but, <laughs> so, I can only ask it four questions. So the first question I'm going to ask what the color is. So, C-O-L-O-R. Now, some of you might spell it U-R, like C-O-L-O-U-R, but if, you, if you're one of those people who spells it like that, you might just... It's just easier if you just do C O L O R, just, just like that. It's just easier because you need five cards. Okay, if you don't have five, it's not gonna work. So you need to have five. So just spell out color. Now you're gonna set. You're gonna flip over the next card and say, so it's a black card because that was the color. You're gonna set that on top of the pile. Now, okay. Now, now I'm gonna ask them what the um, so I'm going to ask the deck, because I have three more questions, so I'm going to ask it what um, what the number is, I believe, yeah, what the number is. So I'm going to go N-U-M-B-E-R, number, and it is a six, okay? So the six, it's a black six, okay? Now I need the answer to what the suit is, okay? Because I know it's a black card, but I need the answer to what a suit is. So, A-N-S-W-E-R. And it just happens to be a spade. So, the six of spades. And I have one more question, so I'll just ask what the match of the card is. So, M-A-T-C-H. So, the match of the six of spades is indeed the six of clubs. Which is true, okay? <laughs> so... Now if we take a look, um, the, it is the six of spades, just like that, just happens to be the six of spades. Now we still have one more card though, or over here, that we don't know. But I already asked the deck as many questions as I can, because it only has a four question maximum limit. limit. But thankfully it has a backup plan, which is needed, because I'm not supposed to do it with two cards, but... Um, I decided to because I forgot you couldn't do that. But thankfully there's a backup plan in the deck in case you do that. So by the way, this is just a script for the trick, okay? <laughs> That's not actually true. So um so first off, this card that card is a black card. Now this card is a red card. It is a three. It's a heart. It's the three of hearts and it's match the three of diamonds now that card should be the three of hearts and it just happens to be the three of hearts now let's learn this okay guys now how that trick is gonna work is you're basically gonna have them pick any two cards but they have to be next to each other so let's say they pick these two cards now like the other one you're gonna cut that to the top now Make sure you know which card was the bottom card, okay? So, what I mean by this is... Okay, so I'm going to put these back on. Um, okay, so you're going to... They pick out two cards like this. So this is the bottom one right here. And you're going to set that... You're going to just remember... It doesn't matter which place you put it in, but you want to remember that it's right here, okay? Not here. Okay, that's important for later. Okay, now... Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to say, now I have a four-question maximum limit for the deck, whatever. You can just say all the script that I said in the performance. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, you can make up whatever you want, but um, now you're going to ask, you're going to say, what is the color? So C-O-L-O-R. Now, I explained that you can only do five cards for that. Flip over the next card, and it's a red card. Now, somehow, this probably isn't going to work because somehow it messed up the order when I was doing the trick uh, when I put it back together um, I don't know how but anyways it's probably not gonna work out but I'll just I'll still show you it 
and if you do what I'm doing, it should work. Now, so I did color, now I'm going to say the number, N-U-M-B-E-R, number, it's a jack, it's a red jack, okay, I'm going to say, no, yeah, see, this obviously couldn't work because it's a red jack and the jack of hearts is here. If it's the jack of diamonds, then the jack of hearts should be over here as the match card, okay? So anyways, I'm just going to continue. Now, so the jack of hearts. Now, basically what's going to happen is, um, okay, so now you ask what the number is. You're going you're gonna to need to say, now I need to know what the answer for the suit is. Now you're going to have to spell it answer, so you're going to have to say, I need the answer for what the suit is. So A-N-S-W-E-R. Now the answer is that it is a spade. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so it's a spade, apparently. It's a red spade, apparently, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> now, again, if you do this process, it will work. It's just my deck got messed up. So now the last question is, what is the match? So M-A-T-C-H. What is the match? The Eight of Diamonds, apparently. So that's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, like, so messed up. Okay. Now, again, now the bottom card is the one you're going to flip over for this match. So, again, as you can see, that was the match. So it's Three of Hearts, so that's way off. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyways, all you're going to do is you're going to flip it over one at a time. You're going to say, I have a backup plan, actually. So it's actually a black card for, for this one, obviously. It's an eight. It is a heart. That's, a, again, a black heart, okay? And the match is the five of spades, okay? And it is the king of clubs. So that's kind of weird because, see, the king of spades matches this, and the three of diamonds matches that. <laughs> Anyways... So, if you do this right, this trick will work. Now, mine didn't, obviously, but again, if you do this process, it will work. So, sorry that it's not working for me. It would have been a better example. But anyways, if you do this trick right, this will work. Now, I just wanted to say that I know this is... I know I've said this a few times, but I know this has been a really long video. I don't usually make videos this long, but I just wanted you to know all these tricks and this, this slight of the size step and stack. This is the best stack, in my opinion. You will, you won't really use another one again, to be honest. I mean, you might want to, but this is the best one, in my opinion. It's really easy to use, and I just wanted to make an, a really nice video for you guys about it. An in-depth video. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. It would really help me out. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.